Hello Year 5. Today in our English lesson we're going to be planning the structure of a newspaper report. Now we've already completed our box model um, looking at the effects we want to have on the reader and the ingredients that's going to go into them so the features of a newspaper report. Um, okay so what we're going to do today is look at a at a plan and I've created one here okay so I've got my introduction on the left hand side uh, in the middle I've got my headline and subtitle uh, paragraph 2 and paragraph 3 so we have uh, details about what and why and details about where and when these are the main body of my writing uh, on the right hand side I have the conclusion okay and then I've also added another box in which includes sentence openers connectives that you might like to use in your writing Okay, so if we move on to the headline and subtitle, the headline for my newspaper report is going to be Winnie the Pooh in Fight for His Favourite Insects, and the subtitle is Where Do We Be Without Them? Now the headline is an invitation for the reader to read the content of your article, okay? Now this might be emotional or inspire the curiosity of the reader, um, so it needs to be quite engaging for the reader so you want them to read on. And the subtitle will expand on what the headline says. So my headline is Winnie the Pooh in Fight for His Favourite Subject. Uh, insect, sorry, and the subtitle is Where Do We Be Without Them? So it's saying, where would we be without Winnie the Pooh's favourite insects. Now, if we move on to the introduction, the introduction should explain what the article is going to be about. So, it, and how we're going to do that is including the five W's. So who, what, where, when, and why. Okay, so my introduction is going to tell us all about bees, um, why they're important, and the decline of the honeybees, okay? That, so it's going to explain what the article is going to be about. Now the first paragraph of my main body is going to be about, uh, going to detail about what and why. So my example, I, I've put the little headline of the importance of bees. So that is what and why, what the what is bees, sorry, and why is going to be why they are important to us. So I thought that I would, uh, in this section, I'd talk about the importance of bees, so how they benefit the ecosystem, and I might talk about carbon sequest sequestration. Um, I might also talk about how they pollinate our food and produce beeswax and honey. Okay, and I'm going to go into detail in that. Now, I haven't uh, put all of the all of the facts that I might put into there because I don't want you just to copy this down I want this to be your own work okay so there would be a lot more information in in each box now the second part of my main body uh, is paragraph three and this is where I'm going to go into detail about where and when so the example that I've done is I uh, where and when, so what's happening to bees in the UK. So I'm, first of all, I could talk about why uh, the population of honeybees are decreasing by 30, why it's decreased by 30%. Um, I can also talk about the threats that bees are facing. Now I haven't put any of these threats down, but some threats could be the use of pesticides, um, agricultural farming, okay, and I'd also have a lot more information in that box. Now the conclusion, sorry, the conclusion, um, here we might need to change tense, okay, because in my conclusion I'm actually going to speak about what's happening at the moment and what could happen in the future. So, uh, so for example, in mine I'm going to talk about what we can do to change the decline in number of bees. So I might talk about Ebra, who they are, uh, Ebra are a charity um, for bees, okay, the International Bee Research Association. Uh, I might talk about National Honey Bee Day um, and what we can do ourselves to increase the number of bees. Now, last of all, I've also put in the sentence opener and connective section. So this might be what we might want to use in our writing. So I've given you an example. So I've put consequently. Now, consequently uh, is an adverb and it means as a result of something. OK, so I've actually given you an example of how I might use it in my writing. So I put consequently due to intensive farming, bees have an unpredictable future. 
So it's saying as a result of intensive farming, bees have an unpredictable, unpredictable future. Okay, your task, I would like you to go and plan the structure of your newspaper report. So you can use this template that I've provided or you can design your own. Okay, off you go. Thank you.